colleagues, let's switch our attention to LiDAR data and DICOMs. And in this last section, what I will show is how we can leverage uh, AI models to speed up labeling process for LiDAR data and for DICOM data. And this section will be presented in a similar way as the previous one, in the sense that first I will show you how to deploy the models that will be needed for us to do labeling tasks. And then I will rely on these deployed models to solve several tasks on LiDAR data and on DICOM data. So let's start with AI model deployment step first. In this demonstration, uh, I will need two projects. Uh, first project contains uh, point cloud data and the second project contains DICOM data. And for me to demonstrate how we can leverage AI models and machine learning, I need to run first uh, several apps. Uh, let me do that. So I will go to neural network section here and uh, let's start with DICOM first. Uh, what I would like to show uh, uh, is uh, how we can use uh, interpolation, interpolation app. Uh, so there is volume interpolation app available here, which I will just run. Uh, this app doesn't require GPU, so I will run it on main node, the machine that does not have uh, GPU installed. So let me run this one. Uh, then uh, what I would like to do is to, uh, is to run a smart tool, we have seen it already, uh, but it is also applicable when we label DICOM. So uh, in this case I will uh, run the smart tool on, say, uh, this machine with GPU. Ok, let me run it. Uh, when I run, I run the serving app, it will actually deploy this smart tool model so that I can use it in labeling interface. Uh, so let's switch our attention to point clouds and for point clouds I also would like to show how interpolation works so I will run a simple interpolation app and again I will just run it on a machine without GPU uh, like this. Uh, and uh, last thing that I need to do is to run uh, another model, uh, another app which which called uh, uh, Surf MM Detection 3D. So that's quite a powerful app. It's just a graphic user interface, graphical user interface on top of MM Detection 3D repository. It contains a number of good uh, pre-trained models uh, that can uh, process uh, LiDAR data. So let me run this one. And this one I will run on, uh, on, on the same machine as I run uh, Smart Tool. Uh, maybe I will give session name here, like uh, 3D detection uh, model. 3D detection, sorry, detection model. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, the app started, and I can pick here various pre trained models and deploy them or I can uh, deploy a, a custom model by defining the path to the weight file. File with weights, model weights. Okay, let me probably pick a certain architecture here, say uh, SSN architecture, and let me deploy, say, this model that was pretrained on a lift dataset. Uh, let me click serve button and in a couple of seconds uh, uh, the model will be uh, will be deployed so the model is deployed and let's probably go back to see uh, what we have accomplished so far so if i go to app sessions here and click on running what i will see is the following so i will see uh, so we will use this 3d bbox interpolation uh, when we will work with point clouds as well as this uh, uh, deploy, deployed model that we called 3D detection model. Uh, uh, and for DICOM data we will use a smart tool uh, and we will use uh, uh, this interpolation algorithm that we also deployed. 